Good morning, Saxon family. How are you guys all doing today? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Got a smile on your face and you're ready for a brand new video. Welcome back to the daily vlog. If you're not yet subscribed and the part of the family, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications to never miss out on any videos I post here on my channel. Today, I'm gonna give my reaction that my parents seen my black guy for the first time because they have yet to see it. I just wanna say, by the way, thank you all for the support on yesterday's video. I just uploaded, changed the shirt, and started an actual vlog for today. So I'm gonna go downstairs and actually get my parents reaction. I know I've already said that but I want to see what they think about me actually getting a black eye like all the years of me playing hockey and getting in like hockey fights I never got one but all it took for me to go outside at a local Wawa and get punched in the face which I don't know that right there is just my dumb fucking luck. I swear, my mom's truck butt is touching my car truck butt, and yeah, it's way too close for comfort. Anyway, she's outside here in her garden. Hi, Mom. Hi. What? What happened to your face? <laughs> oh, yeah, right. So, you know how last night after the, like, the Blues won the Stanley Cup, I decided to go out to celebrate with one of my friends? Yeah. Well, on our way back from the bar, we decided to stop at Wawa, and then I was punched in the face by one of Jake's friends. What? Wow, he did a number on you. Yeah, I, you think out of all the years of me playing hockey, You've like never been bruised in the face. I've, I've gotten like I've gotten cuts and crap on the face from like fights and sticks going through my mask, but never like an actual black eye. Ow, that hurts. Yeah, it hurts me to look at you. You always say that though. Is that because I'm the redhead stepchild or? You're not my redheaded stepchild. Oh, I am a redheaded stepchild. Yeah, but, ow. Yeah. So, you're good at giving advice and stuff, and I was wondering, do you have any advice on how I can get rid of a black eye quick? Cold compresses. Does that mean ice? Yeah. Okay, well, do you have ice for me? I should have did that right away last night. Um. I wasn't thinking about that last night. I was literally trying to think about, okay, I'm just going to go home now and sleep because I got hit in the face and the guy ran off. We have ice packs in the freezer. Is that going to actually work? It will help with the swelling and maybe some of the bruising. Okay. Oh, thanks. Honestly, I've never had one like that, so... You've never had a black eye before? No. Oh, lucky you. Right now I haven't. In a few months I may. Wait, why? Because I may have to get my nose fixed. What's wrong with your nose? Can't breathe out of the one side. Ah. Uh, so apparently Dad said if they fix it, I end up with black eyes. Well, that tends to happen if you get any facial surgeries done. But yeah, no. I want to see how you would react to me having a black eye and see it if you had any advice. Good on you. No, it doesn't. It, it looks good on some people. Like if I had like a full-grown beard and stuff, but I can't because I have to wear an SCBA and a mask and all that to enter into a burning building. So I figured. Just ask you for advice. What, ice pack? An ice pack will help a little bit. Where do I get an ice pack? Ah, oh, obviously, dumb question on my end, the freezer. So, do you think uh, Dad be fine being on video? I kind of want to get his reaction. What are you looking at? Uh, people on bikes, I guess the kids know them. Oh. Uh, wait, is this summer vacation already? You want to know what that means? Oh my god, I just realized. It's been four years now since I graduated high school. Yeah, and it means... You're getting old. I'm getting old. All of you are getting old. Gosh darn it, is it all we do is just get old? Um, unfortunately, yes. Uh, is Elise home? Uh, is her car? Her car's right there. Uh, she's probably getting ready for the graduation. Yeah, well, I'm gonna go see her opinion on my black guy and see what she thinks. I think you guys have only met her once in the vlog and that was me trying to kick her out. Oh! At least just the person I want to uh, talk to. What yeah, I was going to ask you. Well, your kid's outside playing, but I wanted to actually get your reaction to my black eye. Uh -huh. So I got punched in the face last night. How? So I was coming back from a bar. We stopped at Wawa and one of my former friends, friends, actually got a little mad at me and punched me in the face. Who is he? His name is Sebastian. I'm gonna hurt him. Are you really? What's his number? Well, I don't have his number, but I know where he lives. Let's go. You live, are you serious? Yeah, I have some things to do, but after 8, let's do something. After 8 o'clock? Yep. Are you actually serious? Yeah. No, really? Really. Oh. That's not nice. 
Oh, my cousin's actually sticking up. See, this is why I always love my cousin. She would always stick up for me. Uh, well, well actually, I'm allowed to beat you up. <laughs> well, hey, that that ain't true. Hey. Oh, okay. Well, what do you think Jim's gonna say? Just due to the fact that I got punched. Um, you're an idiot. I don't know. Well, yeah, I know. <laughs> Hi, Bobo. Come on in. We're gonna go see if I can actually have my stepfather on video and get his actual reaction to my black eye. Oh, there's a lot of holes in the deck. Why is there holes? What the hell did you do to your eye? Uh, I I got punched in the face last night. You probably fucking deserved it. Well, I wouldn't say I deserved it, but like, okay, maybe I, I kind of did, but I went to Wawa last night after going to the bar with one of my friends, and I just got punched by somebody I used to know. What time was it? It was like 1 a.m., 2. Nothing ever good happens after 1 o'clock. Oh, I know. Nothing That's ever. Oh, I mean, nothing ever happens good in general after you go to the bar and go out and well, all it that. It's worse after one o'clock. And you know it's because. Experience. Why? Do you ever get hit in the bar? Yeah. Or leaving the bar or whatever? Really? Mm -hmm. But I guess you actually were able to get a punch off if like they didn't happen to run away. Huh. I mean, I'm not the quickest runner, but the well, guy literally punched me and just took off. That's the uh, best kind of coward. Do what to take a hit and leave? Hell yeah. Huh. Well, so do you have any advice on like what I should do? Should I actually file a police report or? No. Take your licks. And then go beat them up as well? Nope. Learn so, from experience. So um, you're just telling me to take the punch and leave it? Yep. Oh, thanks. By the way, what what is with all the holes in the deck though? My deck's rotten. I gotta fix it. Oh, that sounds like fun. Mm. I mean... The deck's what, 10, 11 years old? Yep. Yeah. Well, I guess it's about time for it to get fixed, so. Well, thanks for your reaction there, Dad. I mean, I heard so. That's, that's all he's got to say. Nothing good happens after 1 o'clock. I mean, I know that's true. Uh, I wouldn't expect him to actually say that. Oh, boy. This, uh, this absolutely sucks. Before we get any farther into today's video, do me a favor, go to SeatGeek.com if you plan on purchasing any tickets to any sporting events, concerts, etc. SeatGeek actually will give you the best possible seats for the best price. If you do, use code Jeff Saxton for 20% off of your first purchase. I just thought of something. I'm going to call Jake and tell him that his friend actually assaulted me last night and punch me in the face and see uh, what he has to say about it because I have a feeling like Jake is behind this in a way, like he probably said, Yo, if you ever do see Swift in public, do me a favor, just uh, punch him in the face, cause it, it'd be hilarious, ha 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 ha. Well, hopefully, Jake answers his phone. I'm gonna take this, put that right there. Come on, Mr. Duffner, answer your phone. You gonna answer, Jake? You gonna answer, or you gonna let me go right to voicemail? Honestly, he's probably gonna just let it go straight to voicemail. Like, uh, he normally would. So that's just how Jake is. Is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you finish recording, you may hang up or press one more option. Yo, Jake, it's me, Jeff. Uh, I thought you'd probably realize I would never call you again, but here I am calling you, just letting you know your boy Sebastian last night uh, punched me in the face. I don't know if you saw the video that just came out on my channel, but I just wanted to give you the heads up that he assaulted me in a parking lot, punched me in the face, and uh, yeah, this is all on your hands now, buddy. Uh, I just figured I'd let you know that uh, there's going to be a problem. All right, bye. Well, that is done and over with. Saxon family, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and never miss out on any videos. I have to go today to the high school graduation, because uh, I know somebody that's actually graduated high school, one of my longtime friends from the TV studio. So it's going to be cool just to watch all the people from the TV studio kind of graduate. A few of them are actually filming their own graduation, continuing a tradition that started a long time ago, way before me, that I got to actually continue where you go on the field camera and just film. So it's going to be pretty cool. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, it's been your boy Jeff, keeping it real. I'm going to log out. I'm going to peace out. And well, I love you guys. Peace. Oh, by the way, remember you can do anything uh, you put your mind to. Remember to stay positive. All right, peace.